Kelly's Castle. The unfinished ruined mansion that had been built by a Scottish planter named William Kelly Smith. This castle is situated beside the Raya River, which is a small creek to the Kinta River. The construction started in 1915 before it ended incompletely at 1926. William Smith was born on 1st March in 1870 on a small farm near Dallas in Moreford, Scotland. He was the third of five children in the family. At 20 years old, he decided to seek an opportunity as a civil engineer which then ended up to be at Batu Gajah. In 1903, William had to leave for Scotland to be with his dying mother. On his return, he met a woman named Agnes on the ship headed for Penang. They must have fallen in love there because they were married immediately. Back in Batu Gajah, William and Agnes lived in a wooden bungalow on William Estate called the Keller's House. In 1904, Agnes gave birth to a baby girl named Helen. Then, in 1915, the couple was blessed with a newborn baby boy named Anthony. The construction of Kelly Castle started soon after Anthony's birth. However, he did face a very great challenges where he lost substantial money when he tried to start a marble quarry. His concessions for mining and dredging were cancelled due to inactivity probably because he lacked the capital. Coffee prices collapsed. He built a large distillery, factory, and laboratory to extract the perfume, patchouli, planted new rubber trees, imported 200 laborers from India, built their living quarters, service roads, fencing, bridges, followed by the death of his cattle and ponies due to disease. All the circumstances exhausted his working capital. Finally, William had no choice but to sell two-thirds of Keller's estate, which became Kinta Keller's Limited. Through World War I, the construction process became even slower due to the difficulty of bringing raw materials. In 1918, a deadly influenza pandemic known as the Spanish Flu killed millions of people around the world. More than 70 of William's Indian estate workers died. Then, in 1926, William was travelled with her daughter Helen to visit Agnes and Anthony in Europe and to collect lift he had commissioned for his castle. However, he developed pneumonia and passed away on 11 December. In the end, Kelly's castle was never completed. This is ghostly cloister balcony where his spirit roams at night. The ground floor consists of the main hall. This is an interpretation of how Kelly Smith's living room could have looked like. His collection included Chinese ceramics, Persian carpets, English watercolors, as well as objects from Europe, India, and Southeast Asia. They were Catholic and this is their altar table. Next is Kelly Smith's dining hall. The adjoining room is a pantry or storeroom and the meals were prepared in the kitchen adjacent to the castle. Next, this might have been Kelly Smith's reading room. Many visitors have heard the ghostly echoes of voices as in a formal parties. Next, we move to the spiral staircase. The spiral staircase led to a secret room, a hiding place for his wife and children in case for emergency. This basement room could also have been the circular dark room for photography. Mentioned in an advertisement dated 7 October 1927, when the careless house, including the half-completed castle, was offered for sale after William passed away. Linen room were located at level 1 and level 2 where clean bed linen and table linen were stored in a dry environment. There are many guest rooms in the Kelly's castle and this is the first guest room located at level 1. A guest room is for visiting relatives, friends and business associates. This is the second guest room located at the same level. Descendants of Kelly Smith estate workers mention a secret staircase from the bathroom leading out to the castle grounds.
Here is the bathroom and secret passageway. We can see that Helen's room is connected to Anthony's room through the bathroom and the secret passageway was created. A staircase leads to the floor below and out of the castle. And here is the Anthony's room. This room was planned for Anthony. He was born in 1915, 11 years after the birth of his sister Helen. It is connected to his sister's room through the bathroom. Anthony later followed his mother to Britain for his education. He was a pilot and died during the Second World War. Here is another staircase leads to the ground floor. So from the interview just now, we can conclude that these women they are come to here because of uniqueness of Kelly Castle, and they came from Kelantan for four days to spend time and at here. And they are attracted to come here because of the history of Kelly Castle itself. Um, as they know that Kelly Castle is not complete because of um, Kelly died before this building has completed and they went to see it by themselves. And that's all, thank you. Um, so do you want to share where are you from? Italy. Oh, you're from Italy? From Rome, yeah. uh, How many times have you visited Malaysia? One month. Oh, one month, yeah. 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 This is your first time here? First time in Malaysia, yeah. Oh, okay. So why did you choose to visit this place? So we are just we are just arrived. So <laughs> it's a very beautiful place. Um, this is the first time. This is the first day for us in uh, Ipoh. Uh, yeah. Before this, you Kuala Lumpur. Yeah. So uh, have you uh, managed to um, visit Kuala no, not yet. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, oh, yeah. we are starting now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you are starting now. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so um, any uh, any story that you know about this place? No, mm -hmm. no. Yeah, we know that was an English man that mm -hmm. built in this place in a first in a nineteen twenty. I don't remember very well, but he died. Until uh, this castle was finished. Yeah. Where yeah. mm. are you from? Yeah. Oh, you from? Oh, I see. You're a local tourist here, lah. Yeah. Style, but married to me. Ah, okay. Uh, can I know what uh, attracts you to come here? So many times I passed by, I heard about this place. Ah. Some of the local people say it's nice to go to Gamba Gamba, lah. So I came here. I see, right? And then, um, have you ever heard about the Mukas, like you know, or uh, the? 
Oh, no, I didn't hear oh. the identity. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Uh, can you share that? Uh, uh, what, uh, what did you uh, gain after you like came here after a tour? It's a good memory down the colonial, our colonial history lah. It's just a good reminder. And it's good lah. We have this colonial uh, history. Before you came here, um, do you really like uh, know uh, where did you hear about this place? Just like from yeah, travel. Masa lalu ni dia saya kau kelikar, kelikar. Saja saja lah. Okay. Uncle, ada tak nak suggest this place to any other like maybe local? Yeah, memang kita nak taruh di Facebook supaya kawan-kawan dia siap lah. Tak nak suggest maybe uh, improvement or you know some command to add up to for to improve lah. Jangan kacau macam ni bagus. Okay ya, thank you. So yeah, literally, uh, uncle was uh, a local tourist married to a foreigner, and he just passed by here and then he drove for a while to visit this uh, Kalis Castle. Um, there is. No, there was no com negative comments from him. He just said that it was actually a nice place to visit. That we Malaysia have a colonial history that we preserve, and also, uh, Uncle also said that um, it is better to just to not, you know, uh, to just let this building as it is, so that we can, you know, attract many other tourists. That we can preserve our own history. That literally not every Malaysian know. And also, uh, what makes uh, we what makes us uh, amazed is that his idea about you know to upload all his pictures uh, while he was visiting here in Facebook, so that he can attract his uh, his wife's you know countries, his wife countries citizens to visit here also. The main point is. The main reason we came here because of course it's beautiful, the scenery is beautiful and we are planning to spend memories yeah. with our friends so that we uh, can take many pictures together. We can experience more uh, in yeah. this kind of Can you guys know about the story of the story? The wife of the owner I can feel the love that Kelly, uh, from Kelly to his wife because yeah, he built uh, this space to appreciate his wife, right? So when we go to around this uh, castle, uh, we still feel the love uh, that Kelly gave to his wife. Ah, uh, yeah, the power of love. <laughs> So maybe he wait for his son. Maybe I'm just gonna talk about this place. No. <laughs> I don't like paranormal. <laughs> Only she. <laughs> I can see that. Uh, any suggestions or improvements that you think uh, government should make, like to preserve or conserve this place or what's or not? What do you guys think? The security maybe because it's very dangerous, but someone might fall. Uh, yeah, I think that's security lah. Good luck. Like maybe, uh, would you suggest this place to your friends or like your family? Would you? Or yeah, we would. Uh, of course. Uh, of course, right. This place has many stories, uh, yeah, stories many that stories. we can tell about. An attraction. Yeah. And this place is quite nice to take a photo. Uh, maybe with photo family group. and friends. 